guys, Helen Hart Smith here again with Kathy. Hey, we're here for the um, third in this initial installment of top 10 things that we might revisit, but for right now we're just think, doing three. <laughs> I think we should revisit after people have a chance to comment and give us suggestions. We should revisit this stuff. Definitely. So what we're doing here are the top 10 something that every witch should have on because hand. Because I was doing a search and couldn't find it and right. on YouTube. Right. So I said, Helen, you should totally. And she said, you could do it with me. And I'm like, I've been okay. wanting to get her in front of the camera so you guys can see her. Look, isn't she beautiful? Aww. So the first video in our little series here, we covered the top 10 stones that every witch should have on hand. The second video was herbs. Top 10 herbs that every witch should have on hand. And if you're watching all of them, in case you missed it, we're sitting here doing this in one day. Yeah, we have the same outfits yeah, on. Right. Um, so this one is the top 10 oils that we think, every, essential oils that we think every witch should have on hand. Now, let's preface again by saying this is, all three of these lists are things that we came up with Off from the top, the top of, of our head. head. And we realize like 20 minutes. Right. We realize that there are many other stones, herbs, oils. Um, oils that you, many more that you can have. But, you know, as far as our practice goes, what do we use a lot? That right. is, that's how this list came up. So what we're going to do today is we'll share with you our top 10 oils. We're going to give you mundane, real-world purposes, as well as magical ones. Right. So, without further ado, did I cover all the... Uh, and they're in no particular order. No particular order. <laughs> all right, so, number one, the first oil, peppermint. Aside from the fact that most of these... All of these smell really good, um, and you can use them in um, a various, you know, ways, and so we're not even going to cover that. But peppermint, the magically, it is good for purification and for your conscious mind. We keep referring to our lists because we made them today. We have notes. And we're having a hard time reading them, but we made notes. <laughs> So the <clears throat> mundane uses for peppermint oil is for digestion, headaches, and nausea. And I think I've used peppermint for all of those in the past. And I think most of these you can get if you go to like a Whole Foods or uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. You can get in an oil Definitely. that is, is um, uh, made to be ingested. Mm -hmm. so. Right. And I, I'm, I might even snatch a couple of those because yeah. they're right here close. Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't recommend... Um, uh, the ones that just for scent to take them internally, but if you buy them in the section to take them internally, those are the ones you can ingest. Yeah, I think yeah, that should be another you know kind of Safety. disclaimer that we kind of say is that all essential oils, if you're using them on your body in some way, there's a couple here that we do use straight up topically, but in general. If you want to put them on your body, then you want to put them in a carrier oil of some kind. Or some form, like soaps or something like that. Exactly. Now, again, if you go out and buy this, the kind that are ingestible, that's kind of, you can right. and do I'll, those just fine. But I'm actually going to lean up, pull it out. and grab a couple because we're going to get to them. Yep. So, um, okay. so, number two is eucalyptus oil. Now, magically, you can use that for health and healing and for purification. Mm -hmm. And for mundane purposes, you can use it for sinus or chest issues and also for muscle pain and circulation. Yes. Um, number three is lavender. Lavender is one of the two essential oils that I have ever or probably will ever use directly on my skin. Um, and lavender is magically good for um, health, love, and peace. I'm just having problems reading my writing. <laughs> um, and in the mundane world, it is a uh, sleep aid. It's a, for relaxation and calming. And you can also use it like on bug bites or if you have some kind of skin condition, you could put it on there to ease itching. Right. This is... Um, I actually have a blend of lavender and tea tree together that I have used successfully 
on cellulitis because I'm prone to cellulitis. I have used it directly on my skin and did not have to go through a course of antibiotics. So that's right. huge. Um, okay, so four is a four. Really? Four is four thieves. <laughs> it's four. It's a four. I'm um, spreading quickly. Four thieves has gotten a lot of attention recently. Right. Um, a lot of different companies are putting out their own versions of Four Thieves. And I think we're all familiar with the story of Four Thieves. We're not going to necessarily go into that right Although now. Although if you want to hear it, comment below and we'll make Helen tell you the story. <laughs> um, but magically, it's good for protection. Right. Because it is a disinfectant like Lysol. And there are a lot of varieties out there um, that have different items being one of the four things and, mm -hmm. and there's some varieties also do five things mm -hmm. but it's very good for cleaning and antiseptic and disinfecting disinfecting i have some right now i was sick last weekend and i made a spray with some and it's been spraying at work it's been spraying at what, home that one time i got sick and it was really bad i took a tablespoon of orthes vinegar and drank it and yes, it was disgusting. We, okay. <laughs> but it cut that oh, cold short. We should we should say that the four thieves that she ingested. We actually made it. We made, we made it in in apple cider vinegar right. with dried hey, plant matter. We should totally do a video on how to do that. <gasps> Look for that in the Look future. Okay. Okay. So the next oil is tea tree. Um again, good for harmony. It smells delightful. Mm. Um, and see, sorry, these notes are just kind of all over the place. <laughs> so tea tree is a good disinfectant and you can use it on your skin. I like to use it in soaps. Yes. And lotions. Yeah. Um, I used it on my scalp for a scalp, uh, dandruffy type, um, condition before. So yeah, again, one Did of the help? few, a little bit, but <sighs> that's a whole other matter, folks. Okay. Let's not even go there. But again, one of the few that I would use directly on skin. So, okay. um, number six is lemon and lemon is good for healing and energizing that lemony That's citrus citrus right. scent. Right. Yes. Um, and that is also an antiseptic and an astringent and is good for respiratory issues. Mm -hmm. Um, number seven is mullen and mullen, I consider it an oil, but it's not necessarily, I don't know. It, I'm sure it's up for debate, but it's good for courage and protection. Yes, and it is good for respiratory issues. And I, that's one of the ones that I actually grabbed. I have a mullen oil that it's not it's not a straight up oil like it's cut with something because but this, this is, is ingestible right? right right this is this is a supplement this let me tell you what yes it's good for respiratory and when i had bronchitis i um took this guys this stuff is black as tar and smells horrific but if you put drops of this in water and drink it it will help you out. Now we need to put another disclaimer on this because if you're allergic to any of these items or any of the families of these items, it's probably not a good idea to take them. Without you should, you should also check your medications to see if there's any any interactions. Definitely. And you know, if you're worried about this kind of thing, you probably should check with your doctor. Yes, for sure. Yes. Yes. Um next is Jasmine. Jasmine is good for sex magic and for psychic awareness yes and it smells good um why do i have it here twice for sex well yes <laughs> it's it's calming and um it's good for love and smells good and uh, i actually like a ginger jasmine tea but am i in the wrong one nope you're nope, not nope, 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 nope. again our notes are kind of crazy it's it, they're over a couple of pages so yep. it's fine um the number nine is citronella and I think we're all familiar with citronella, but magically it's good for protection and for aura cleansing. It's good to keep the bugs away. Um, you can <laughs> burn a citronella candle or you can do a um, uh, beeswax rub with citronella mm -hmm. in it to keep mm -hmm. the bugs away. It is also good for muscle relaxation and headaches. Yes. Um, and then the last one is Arnica. Arnica is used um, magically for protection. We've got a lot of protection going on. Sometimes you just need a Sometimes lot of protection. you just need your protection. <laughs> and for, what does that say? 
Crop fertility. Crop fertility. Yeah. Use that arnica for. Right. <laughs> okay. I, I, that was that was what I found. Okay. I, that's fine. So um, I actually have been using arnica a lot because I have some inflammation issues. Mm -hmm. And so I use it in a rub on my skin and I use it in my tea when I drink it at work. And so it's anti-inflammatory. It is good for muscle pain and soreness. And that bottle right there, you can take drops out of that and rub it on your area that is sore and, mm -hmm. and it will help. And again, I think that this is cut with something so it's not just Because that is ingestible. Right, right. right. It's ready for ingesting. You wouldn't want to put arnica regular oils on your skin because right. it's too harsh. Right. And I, I'm pretty sure, I think I've only used this topically. I think I, yeah. you know, my it's elbow has been for bruising. Sore. I don't know if I you know that. It's good for bruising. Oh, oh, oh right. there you go. All right. So, top 10 essential oils every witch should have on hand. Right. And I will have some kind of linkage down below. Or that, playlist. Right. For a playlist or directly to the video or what have you of the other two in our little series that we've started here. Um so if there's something we didn't cover in this oils or any of the other videos that you think is essential for which to have, please let us know. Mm -hmm. Or if there is another top 10 list you'd like to see, let us know and we'll get right on it. Definitely. We, yeah, we want to hear and what you're... We'll also get on that four threes vinegar. <laughs> so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you learned something, give us a big thumbs up and definitely comment. So until next time, thanks for walking a while with us and blessed be. Blessed be.